Hello, hello. Welcome to Keto with Lee, your low carb lifestyle channel. I am your host, Sonia Lee, and today we are making boneless ribeyes with chimichurri sauce. Chimchurri, chimichurri, however you like to say it. This is the way we make it here, and we're going to get into this video in a moment, but if you're new, I'd like to ask you to please subscribe and hit the notification bell to be alerted when I post the new recipe or when I go live. Please visit my website, www.ketowithlee.us for written recipes. Please help support my channel. It costs free to smash the like button and share with someone you know. Thank you. Let's get it. So, we're gonna make our chimichurri sauce. Here we have half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. Not right now, baby. In here we have two tablespoons of minced garlic. Three tablespoons of red wine vinegar. One tablespoon of oregano. Now with this one, I like to crush it, so I grab it. Sometimes you're gonna see um, little twigs in there from the, the plant itself, so go ahead and, and take those out. I already did that, sometimes I miss some, and that's okay too. Oh my gosh, this smells good already, guys. smell a vision we need smell a vision up in here. Goodness. One teaspoon of crushed pepper. Now, of course, you can put more if you want. I don't like too much heat, so I'm not going to put too much. But this is, and it's not a heaping teaspoon, as you can see. Now, in here is the flat leaf. Forgive my nails. I have to go get them done. The flat leaf parsley. So this is a quarter cup of it, so I just basically put it in there to measure it. And here we have our, here, here we have our cilantro. And this is one bushel, and what I did was I cut the, um, the ends of it, so I trimmed them. So I'm stick that in there. that's it all right guys now lastly is one quarter cup of olive oil feel free to use coconut or avocado oil as well there we go now we're gonna blend it and I'll show you what that looks like Okay, so now this is where I like to add another um, quarter teaspoon now that it's all there. And this just ties it all together. So a total of half a cup. color oh my goodness amazing I love this stuff this is wonderful on your veggies as well as your meats so this steak amazing I'm just gonna blend it one more time because you want to blend until it's smooth since I scraped the sides I'm gonna go ahead and continue one more minute well not even a few little bursts Look at that. So you get a better idea. Look at that. Wow. And that's our chimichurri sauce. Alright guys, so here is our boneless ribeyes. They total about a pound and a half, almost two pounds. 
Remember, it's without the bone. I'm gonna go ahead and season it with salt and pepper generously on both sides. Usually get my hands in it, but not today. a moment and in here what I'm gonna do is put a couple things together not much because it's just like um, a light marinade so in here is one tablespoon of minced garlic <laughs> it popped in there and one tablespoon of olive oil and basically just to loosen it and have it stick to our steak that's the only reason I'm doing it that way so give it a good stir. See how it loosened that up for us. So I want to put some of this on both sides of our steaks. And I don't even think I need that. So basically I'm just going to do that. Don't need too much. Just spread it on there. Because when this goes on the grill... Or in the oven you can broil it in the oven actually it's about to pour so I think I'm gonna do mine in the oven um, it'll be amazing this garlic on it and it doesn't need a lot guys and if you don't like garlic then don't do it you know hey switch it up all right Done. The other way, which I'm probably going to do instead of the oven on broil, I'm probably just going to make them in my air fryer. So I'm going to let these marinate for at least 20 minutes. And I, when I'm done, I will let you see what they look like, guys. Thanks for watching.